retired early and Steve was wanting to produce something. I was like, well, should we open a winery? And, uh, what about a distillery? And uh, everybody laughed except Bev. They just changed the laws right at that time and I had uh, heard on the news it was a hundred dollar license and we kind of figured that we had everything that we might need to open up a distillery. So why don't we just open up a really, really small distillery just so that I can kind of have fun. We sent the Loganberry in and we got a 94 from the BTI, the Beverage Testing Institute, which is the biggest blind tasting organization. They do thousands of spirits a year. And then we submitted our Blackberry and to our surprise got a 98 point. So we had the distinction of having the highest score of any spirit in the world. These guys that were tasting it had no idea that they were blown away from it because they never tasted anything like it before. A big part of our success is being a part of the Whidbey Island community and all the support we get and just the whole community feel. We're really proud to be here and we want Whidbey Island Distillery to be here for 200 years from now. <laughs>